If you look at this phrase and get offended, I completely understand. Because I can remember getting offended every time I saw this phrase too. Mainly because every time I would read it or see it or hear it, it was always used negatively. But over time, I realized that it all depends on how you see it. It doesn't really have much to do with the subject at hand, but it actually has more to do with perspective. Let's use a practical example, like a bookshelf. Say for instance, a guy is trying to get rid of a bookshelf. He's trying to sell it on like Facebook Marketplace or something like that, mainly because he just doesn't like it. Maybe his grandmother gave it to him and she thought it would be good for him. And so he just took it for whatever reason. But now he made up in his mind, okay, I don't like this anymore. It's ugly. I want to get rid of it. And so he finds a buyer and the buyer says, okay, let me take a look at it first before I buy it. So the buyer comes over and he takes a look at the bookshelf. He observes it and looks closely at it. He might see maybe a few cuts and a few dents and all of that, but he looks closely at the bookshelf. He's looking at the design and the color, and he's even looking at who made it, like what kind of brand it is. And then he realizes based on the brand that this particular bookshelf is worth lots of money. And so he asked the seller, like, are you sure you want to sell this bookshelf? And the seller is like, duh, I'm just, I'm trying to get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. But because the buyer knows the value of this bookshelf, he doesn't quite understand why the seller wants to get rid of it. But he ends up buying it off the seller for a very cheap price. And now he was able to have this very expensive, rare item for a very, very low price, all because the seller just didn't know the value of it. The seller saw it as a regular bookshelf, while the buyer saw it as a valuable possession. You see where I'm going with this? How a person sees something does not take away the value of that particular item. And the same goes for you. Just because one person failed to see your value, that doesn't mean that somebody else will. The next person might take some time out, they'll observe you, and they'll see who created you, and then they'll see value in you because they know who you are. They know what you're capable of, they know what you bring to the table, and they'll be able to take care of you better because they know your value. So never allow another person's inability to see your value to cause you to think you're worthless. You were never trash, you were just in the wrong person's house. <laughs>